Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Ravindra Prasad. Actually, I just want to start a new playlist with uh, physics in my YouTube channel. So that's why I am starting with some basic topics. So we will go in step by step. Okay. So I am starting a physics playlist in my YouTube channel. We will see. We will see what are the basic topics in physics that we need to understand. Then we will see each and every concept in each and every video. So uh, I hope all of you will support uh, this uh, <coughs> step towards uh, physics. Okay. So before going to uh, topics, first in this class I will concentrate on kinematics. Okay, which is a branch of physics. Let me uh, start with kinematics. Kinematics. First, we need to understand what is meant by kinematics. In this kinematics concept, in this class or in this video, we will cover uh, some of the basic things and later we will see the remaining things which are related to these topics. First thing what we will cover is what is meant by motion what is meant by motion second topic is types of motion okay so in this class we will concentrate only on this okay with some examples with examples so in this class we will concentrate on two things one is what is meant by motion and second one is uh, types of motion okay first of all we need to understand what is meant by kinematics okay so kinematics is just a branch of physics which deals with motion of objects which deals with motion of objects objects is collection of particles you know it already objects can be a ball objects can be a moving vehicle uh, object can be a pen whatever maybe we can call them as objects so kinematic deals with the motion of objects without concerning without concerning about the cause of the motion without concerning about the cause of motion means we don't bother about uh, what is the reason behind this motion of object we don't concern about that in kinematics so kinematics just deals with the motion of objects how the object is moving from one place to another place okay so before going to that first i will start with the definition of motion okay so i don't want to write the definition here just understand what is meant by motion in order to understand this i am taking the help of a small object let me take this uh, uh, sphere okay so initially this sphere is at this place later this sphere is moved from here to here okay so let me move this uh, sphere then this sphere is moved to this place then this sphere is moved to this place then the same sphere is moved to this place okay so initially at uh, uh, t is equal to let me write here at t is equal to 0 seconds the object is here later the object has uh, okay so later the object moved from this place to the nearest place let me uh, draw its uh, next location final location okay so object is here now okay so previously at t is equal to 0 seconds the object is here and it has moved from here to here uh, within a span of uh, 5 seconds within a span of 5 seconds now this is called as the initial position of the object this is called as the initial position of the object and at t is equal to 5 seconds it has reached from here to here following this path okay this is the final position this is the final position now 
the meaning of the motion is if the object position is changing with respect to time means at t is equal to 0 seconds the object is here and at t is equal to 5 seconds it has moved from here to here right so the object position is changed from here to here then we can say that there is a motion now you have understood the meaning of motion motion simply is nothing but the change in its position change in the position of the object with respect to time okay this is called as motion now we will concentrate on types of motion okay so let me take a separate page types of motion there are various types of motion basically we will we'll concentrate only on few uh, motions first one is random motion random motion random motion so random motion means it does not have a specific path it does not have a specific path okay i will show you video of an ant moving from here and there If you see an ant moving from here and there, you can see uh, it, it is not moving in a specific path. Okay, that's why its motion is called as random motion. Okay, so some examples for random motions are movement of or the motion of movement or motion both are same. The movement of uh, ant on on uh, on the road this is one example where we can observe really and uh, movement of dust particles or motion of dust particles in the wind Move the motion of dirt particles it is also uh, uh, it, it doesn't follow a specified path okay this is this type of motion is called as random motion okay we generally don't prefer to analyze this random motions because it has no specific path and it is very difficult to analyze the path okay mm, very difficult to analyze the motion next we will see another motion which is called as translatory motion the motion name is translatory motion translatory motion okay so translatory motion has two types of motions first we need to understand what is meant by translatory motion if each and every particle in an object has the same displacement we can call it as a translatory motion now this translatory motion has two types of motions one is rectilinear motion rectilinear motion and the second type of motion is uh, curvy linear motion curvy linear motion curvy linear motion okay now what is meant by rectilinear motion when an object is moving along a straight line path for example let me take an object uh, let me take uh, this uh, this object this pentagon okay so this pentagon now let me keep it here so this pentagon now is moving in a straight line path if it is uh, let me draw it if it is moving in a straight line path then we can call this type of motion as rectilinear motion similarly we'll see what is meant by curvy linear motion okay so curvy linear motion uh, first of all what is the example for this uh, rectilinear motion the movement of a car for example when you consider this as a car this uh, this is not looking like a car it is a toy just assume it has a car 
ओके सो ये मीन्स द मूवमेंट ऑफ ए कार अलॉन्ग ए स्ट्रेट रोड इज ए गुड एग्जाम्पल फॉर रेक्टी लीनियर मोशन ओके नेक्स्ट आई विल शो यू हाउ इज कर्वी लीनियर मोशन लुक्स लाइक ओके लेट मी टेक सम ऑब्जेक्ट सम अदर ऑब्जेक्ट uh in order to understand this object i think uh, uh, taking uh, spear is a, a good thing okay now this spear initially it is at this position okay so let me uh, take one more spear means to show its uh, final position it is at this position initially it, uh, it is at this position final at this position but it follows a curvy linear motion means like this it has two dimensions means there is a movement along x direction and there is a movement along y direction this type of uh, motion is called as curvy linear motion you can observe that in cricket in cricket when the batsman hit hits a ball the ball follows a curvy linear motion okay so these two are the two types of uh, translatory motions okay i will take next page to write the another motion third types of motion third type of motion is called as oscillatory motion what is that motion oscillatory motion oscillatory motion oscillatory motion means there is an oscillation for example you have a wall you have a floor here to this floor you hung a ball with a thread you hung a ball with a thread like this okay now when you start moving this ball it follow this movement is it right or not it follow this movement this type of motion is called as oscillation oscillatory motion okay let me show that with an arrow work this type of motion is called as an oscillatory motion okay or uh, you can observe uh, in real life situation you can observe this oscillatory motion uh, when a child when a child is uh, hanging on a swing means you have a swing here you have a rod here and you have a swing here in this swing you place your child consider this as a small child and you move him like this and like this to have better sleep you move the child in this swing like this okay this type of motion is called as oscillatory motion okay i hope you have understood uh, oscillatory motion next type of motion let me write next type of motion as so uh, this is called as uh, oscillatory motion yes uh, next type of motion is called as uh, rotatory motion rotatory motion rotatory motion rotatory motion means when an object is rotating about uh, about an axis when an object is uh, rotating about an axis for example uh, consider this as a this is a thread and you have attached a ball to this uh, thread thread you have attached uh, uh, a ball to this thread thread and you are playing like this means you are rotating the ball like this okay or let me show you how a rotating motion looks like this is called as rotatory motion when an object is rotating about a particular point or about a particular axis then we can call this type of motion as rotatory motion okay uh what are the examples of rotatory motion motion of earth examples motion of earth 
around the sun motion of earth around sun is a best example of uh, rotatory motion around the sun or the motion of fan in our homes we have ceiling fans in our homes uh, it is uh, rotating about its own axis motion of uh, ceiling fans in our house motion of earth around sun these are the best examples of uh, rotatory motion okay i hope you have understood how a rotatory motion looks like and the last type of motion is uh, let me write here itself vibratory motion vibratory motion means vibration vibratory motion when you keep a mobile phone so okay let me consider this as a mobile phone when i am keeping a mobile phone here okay so this is a mobile phone consider this as a mobile phone when it it, it when it's vibrate when it vibrates it will move like this in upward in downward in upward in downward in upward in downward okay this type of motion is called as a vibratory motion or when you see a, a drilling machine consider this as a drilling machine with some needle attached to this and you are uh, drilling a wall okay let us consider this as a wall when you are drilling a wall you, you can see that there are there is some vibration there is some vibration in front and back in front and back towards front towards back towards front towards back okay so this type of motion is called as vibratory motion okay so these are the various types of motions that we can observe in our uh, daily life okay in this video i just want to cover only these two uh, these two things one is what is meant by motion motion simply is nothing but the change in the position of an object with respect to, to time okay this is called as motion and types of motions there are different types of motions like uh, random motion which is not of uh, primary importance and uh, it is very difficult to analyze uh, the random motion also the second and very very important uh, type of motion is a translatory motion in this translatory motion we have rectilinear and curvilinear motions okay so in one dimensional motion or in one dimensional analysis in kinematics in one dimensional analysis in kinematics we concentrate mostly on rectilinear motion we concentrate mostly on rectilinear motion that's that's our next uh, video we will cover uh, what are the different uh, concepts that we need to understand in rectilinear motion and what are the physical quantities that we need to understand in rectilinear motion okay so this is the second type of motion and the next type of motion is oscillatory motion the next one is a rotatory motion and next one is vibratory motion these are the various types of motions okay this is the basics of kinematics means in order to understand the kinematics in a better way we need to start from here that's why uh, i have started the video with these concepts in the next we will go through much deeper uh, to that okay uh, i hope you have understood something about the kinematics and uh, what is the motion and what is meant by motion uh, and what are the different types of motions in real time we can observe okay physics is just uh, mm, explains laws of universe what are the means how the universe works physics is a subject basically which explains how the universe works that's why we need to understand the physics with uh, as many as real time examples as possible okay i hope this video helped you if you really like this video uh, please hit a like button share it to your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you very much we'll see uh, in the next video bye everyone